Alright. How's everybody doing? Back at it again with some Duskborn drafts. Hopefully we can uh, get a couple of decent drafts in, rank up a little bit in the diamond, get a good amount of packs, get that set completion a little more closer to uh, being set complete. I've been really enjoying Duskborn. It's a very fun set. I wish I would have drafted it more earlier on. There was more people figuring things out. I mean, starting off with a Meat Hook Massacre. Any one of these three, honestly, would be a really good pick. Yeah, BLB was too much on the rails. I really shouldn't like grasp and play thing are probably better picks than this shoot even the defiled crypt is better than the meat hook massacre but uh, it is my last one for sack complete so we're starting with it that makes four I mean we'll see if not mono black, at least like <laughs> you know, black white, we could do reanimator. I wouldn't mind me hook massacre into shroud stomper. It, it is one of the better cards in the pack. Like Shroud Stomper, Split Skin Doll, Most Valuable Slayer, the, they're up there. Razor Ken is good too, but I don't know that I value this more than this Slayer. I mean, it is one of my favorite archetypes to draft. Or not to draft, but to play in general. It's just Reanimator, so. Being able to draft Reanimator has been uh, kind of a treat, honestly. I mean, theoretically, I'm supposed to take the Oblivious Bookworm. I, I can't even believe this thing is still being allowed to go around this, this late. The rat definitely fits the game plan better. But if this is going around, then we might be in a Manifest Dread deck. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking too. Honestly, like, don't really have good choices for either deck. something black I guess how much we're gonna get away with it I don't know You guys gotta be in the same pack. <laughs> A 
Golgari Splash Blue. Yeah. Something like that. Let's see what we get for the uh, Shroud Stompers. Guys, we, we should have an idea at this point, like... Or are you just at the point of let Arena take control? Let the, let the Draftsmith go. Say his name is actually really good if we're trying to do reanimator stuff. That's, that's a really good early pickup. my discard right yeah discard draw we want that um, probably want the land here actually as much as I like the rat I'm gonna take the the land that kind of gets us between uh, Aeromorphic or Chandelier. It's Aeromorphic early. We'll, we'll get a Chandelier later. That's not being played. That's not being played. Okay, there's the Altanac. And then we've got the green black land and the green white land. There's Final Vengeance. Alright, one Altanac. Um, here it's probably just the white removal. Fungus is pretty nice, but I think the removal is more important. Hopefully Fnatic or Rat will come back around. Hopefully the Fnatic will come back around. Loner. Uh, murder. And a Manor. Alright. That's tough. I think I'm more inclined to take the murder here. I don't have any reanimation spells yet. The goat would be decent. The loner would be decent. The land would be decent. Okay, there's a liver die. All right, cool. First reanimation spell locked. Confirm, and it is just mono black, which is even better. There's another loner. Not punished. There's my asthma demon. Yeah, that's the pick. And I love it when a deck comes together. Uh, we might play the Manifest Dread, actually, just as a 2-2 two -two for 2 in this deck. But also being able to throw something away on turn 2. <laughs> Another pack three pick three Vagavan. I can only do it so many drafts, you know? <laughs> I 
but we do need to start picking up all of the uh, emerge from the cocoons, any right of the moths, Valgavoth's faithful, just anything to start actually hitting my big boys. Yeah, if I had a nickel. <laughs> Hey, there it is, a merge. Just a little slow today. Oh man, both are really good. I think we take the dog here though, as much as I'd like to take. We've got two pieces of fixing already. The dog is just too good. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I want the fanatic, but I also kind of want the fungus. No, I want the rat more, don't I? It's the rat. Where's another dual land? Uh, it's the it's the goat. Actually, we want the goat. That's the first chandelier. enchantment stuff for you. But the Vile Mutilator is perfect for us. <laughs> Ooh, you were so close. <laughs> uh, that's funny. You did say pick three. You're right. <laughs> uh, it's commune with evil, not quite, but it is something we want to pick up. <laughs> We need like two more reanimation spells. I know we passed one emerge for the cocoon, but I think we, we grabbed a shroud stomper over it, so.
can I get another reanimation spell maybe? That would be really cool. Man, is it the emergence here? What a weird pick. Thank you. Can I get another one? <laughs> I sure can. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> it's not gonna come back though. That's terrible. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Gotta get the spell that's too. The one that I can cast from the graveyard, even. Oh man. Which one of these do I want? Uh, yeah, I think I think you're right, Arena. That's the one I want for your surveillance. Man, we're we're definitely gonna be having a little bit of trouble doing the reanimation thing but this is the kind of pile of cards that can make that happen massacre right emerge I don't know I won't really use the chandelier here. I don't know if I want the Miasma Demon, actually. I think two Stompers, Altanac, Vile Mutilator, and the Snatcher, just because it land cycles itself. Those, that's, that's, that's our big boy pile. And that's our reanimation pile. And we got five, potentially six reanimation spells. That's pretty awesome. Uh, trapped in the screen, kind of meat hook, murder, and monstrous emergence. So we've got a little bit in the way of removal. Sorry, leech, you don't make the cut. You surveil, you throw things in the yard, you manifest. You're just Death touch. I don't know that we need that. That manifests, so it throws things in the yard. You're mana fixing. You throw things in the yard. Throw things in the yard, so we don't need the attack in the box here. Interesting. Man, it would have been nice to get like a black dual land in there, but I guess having the dual off land will have to work. There's really what, five, six, seven, and then swamps have eight. Seven, eight, seven. Uh, that's probably right for the mana. Missing anything up here? No. Okay, so what's the cut? What is the cut? Honestly, I think it might be the rat. 
It's either the rat or the loner. I think I'm gonna go rat. Loner just has a higher ceiling for our deck. But everything else basically throws something away immediately where I have to get them to kill the rat. Or I have to kill the rat. Yeah, no, it's the rat. We're gonna play these 40. See where we get. It's, it's not a bad reanimation deck, but it can get run over by these white and blue, the Azorius and the Boros Agro decks. I fear pretty easily. seeing things we want, which is not the planes, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's that's not what we wanted. Are you gonna let me? Um Uh, let's put a Shroud Stomper in there. Mmm, I, I see now why you didn't want that to, to happen. Yes, very, very good. Hey, there it is. I can't believe that let me get a second one. I think the Vile Mutilator is going to be the better target here. That's fine. Oh, and the liver die? Uh, this is so gross. <coughs> That's game. All right, cool. <laughs> Hit him with the good old two for one. Unfortunately, their play, they had to block with their enduring whatever it was when it was face down. The fact that they let me put one thing in the yard was bad. Because even worse, they let me do it twice. <laughs> Uh, I guess they couldn't block the second time. It was a glimmer. They turned it face up into a glimmer and then they weren't able to block it. The cynical owner can't be blocked by glimmer. That's why they didn't block. They didn't have a choice the second time around. Interesting. Can we do it with two dead cards? Like, we're not playing either of these with this hand. We're gonna get out Fear, Surveillance, and just top deck? I think knowing these two are dead in hand, we have to mulligan. Oh yeah, that's so much better. I think we need to keep the optional removal spell here. Huh. 
we can go loner into faithful and to reanimate that's gonna be silly kill it scorching even cool <laughs> Um, yeah, go. <laughs> oh, man, that's such a difficult choice. I think we just commune. <laughs> wow. Um, wild. Cancel. I wanted the swamp. Thank you, though. I got nothing, you got me. Okay. Exiles, no! Of all the things you could do. All the things you could do. It's a good game though. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> nice. That's game. I lost because I played Vagavoth's Faithful. Wow. I wanted it as the extra blocker for the Menace. That was, what a top deck line of play there. Oh, the red black deck. That was, that was pretty good. This. this is great. It 
just got better. We watchdog first. Yeah, Snatcher can go in the graveyard and then we'll say its name. Oh, perfect. trade with you. Oh, that's a good draw. It is a good draw. Alright, I think... We just pass. in response to them doing anything to the overgrown zealot or ending their turn we live or die in the uh, shroud stomper and then we just start going to town oh they would they would um yeah i think i'm gonna try it anyway because if they counter it here and then we're gonna untap and do Valgavoss Faithful. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'll just top deck it. That's fine. Play a snatcher. Double black, double white, three colorless and green, and we can just cast Shroud Stomper into Shroud Stomper. I mean, unless they kill my zero four, and then, then we're kind of hosed. We gotta wait a little bit. No, oh, we won't have to wait very long. That is amazing. the turn and play the Shroud Stomper. Oh 
I think I kind of want to play Altenac first. Oh, that is not the turn you want to be taking right there. I'm just gonna Shroud Stomper. <laughs> oh, and Fear Surveillance, that's fine. Uh, next turn, we'll remove the Unable to Scream. We'll, we'll trap the Scream in the screen. And then, Anything worth it? We got a snatcher still back in the graveyard. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Peepers! everything we need. Honestly, I think I murder my own Shroud Stomper here. And then we just ride of the Moth, the Shroud Stomper. Into a Vile Mutilator. Good. Holy shit, I got up to 35 life. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So we have the turn two Spectral Snatcher for the Swamp. But that's about all we have, huh? Yeah, I'm going to murder my own thing and bring it back. Arguably, I should have brought back the Valgavoth's Faithful with the Finality Counter and sacrificed that in order to bring back the Shroud Stomper, but... I think we were fine. We were just grinding out resources at that point. This, this is tempting, but I don't think it'll work. This is much, much better. Blue put liver die back. I might have needed to lead off with the etched cornfield. Yeah, that was a misplay. Oh well. Um, go dog. I think I actually want my fifth land here. Yeah. Because turn 4 is going to be Harrowing, discarding Shroud Stomper. Turn 5 is going to be Faithful reanimating it. That's, that's so good. That's so good. Uh, we already have double planes. We don't need that. But that's fine. And with that gremlin tamer, this is now useless, which is unfortunate. to stop. I need Vile Mutilator now. I could spend pretty much all my mana and kill the, the Gremlin Tamer right now with Limb or Die.
kind of want the swamp because then we can cast Mute Hook Massacre. I really don't want to have to kill this Gremlin Tamer with this spell. Alright, this is the last time that happens, and I'm done. And then they play another one, and I'm sad. Oh, right, right. Why would it tap my mana correct for what I want to do with it? Oh, I forget sometimes. Yeah, and we're just so far behind against this control deck. Like, they've already won. It's just going to take them 15 turns to kill us. Yeah, no, I'm done. They win. That's fine. Yeah, you got a Grumlin Tamer down early, and I did nothing about it. You just have way too much going on in your hand versus the three things in mine. Like, there's no way. I'm not coming back. That Me Hook Massacre wasn't going to do anything but kill tokens. Like, stupid. You guys aren't supposed to be in my opening hand. Blaven Blave. It feels like Flavor Flav. <sighs> we need a Plains. Are you kidding me? That's not a Plains Arena. That's a Meat Hook Massacre. That is also not a Plains. <laughs> uh, 
that is also not a flight. Sucks. Go one, two, three. That'll leave two. I won't be able to. Okay. We dealt damage. <laughs> Turn inside out, double strike up. GG. Well, not a whole lot we could have done there. We were planes away from getting in that game. That sucks. Hey, animator, you've done so much better for me. We got a meat hook massacre out of it. Right? It was very promising. They had a couple of really good games. I was going to say, am I sitting alone at a table? Like, what is going on? Everybody shifted over to whatever the draft is that's back right now. I don't even remember. <laughs> Come back wrong, fungus. There's the moth. Like. What's, what's bad is this is the best card in the pack. Like, no joke. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> All right. Enduring with the life gain shenanigans. Gee, the comeback. It's kind of reanimator. What? We just got done playing a reanimator deck. Ooh, threats around every corner. Or oh, Midnight Mayhem. This could actually be really a fun combo if we can get the life gain and these guys to trigger together. I 
And I really like threats, but I feel like I'm supposed to take Midnight Mayhem here. Um, the Sawblade is the best card here. Well, it's comparable to Growing Dread, but this will keep us in Mardu. A little bit of tokens for sacrificing. A little bit of life gain synergy. A little bit of reanimation. I don't know, we, we got some ways we can go. These are all good cards. Most of these are some of the best cards in their deck. Besides the rare, honestly. Like, these are all really good uncommons. The tenacity is just kind of meh. But if you can get enough of the life gain stuff, I mean, we gained 35 life in our last reanimator deck in one game. And that, that makes that into a win condition. I mean, Coat is kind of cool, but it's pretty far from what we're doing. I think I'm just going to take Murder here. Oh, get the comeback, right? The comeback wrong. Yeah, comeback wrong can be kind of fun. It does put me in just a single black color. But honestly, I like Ride of the Moth better than Come Back Wrong. I know it's it's removal, and then you kind of get the ETB effect, but I, I think Ride of the Moth was better than the Come Back Wrong and Pack One, Pick One. Here, it's just all garbage. We don't really want any of this. Maybe the Cracked Skull? Can I sacrifice a creature or an enchantment? Yeah, we could put the crack skull in. Alright. Just because I have a sacrifice outlet for it. Can I get both of these Final Vengeances and just not pick from the next pack? That would be really cool. That's another murder pickup for us. All right. Fanatic is great. He discards. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, at this point, we, we want to be going like Red Black Sacrifice. So hopefully nobody else gets gets into our lane here I'm gonna pick up the let's play a game just because it says gain three life your opponent loses three life and with tenacity that's game three they lose six there's a dual land on the pickup we'll get a chandelier just to have this is not a bad pack one honestly it's it's a little uh, out of the normal but we can go in a couple of good directions with this very very uh feasible to to walk out of here with a good deck there's the faithful if we want to go reanimator but i do think the split skin doll is the best pick here uh, it's either split skin or piggy bank piggy bank might be better for us because it's a little bit aggressive and it makes a treasure to fix and this just draws me a card. Hmm. That is a tough decision, actually. Now I think I'm going to take the doll. I'd rather draw a card than have a treasure. Scavenger here. Holy crap. 
Alright, I'll take a scavenger. I think I want gremlin over the rat here, just barely. The rat would have been really good for us too. The ah, gremlin tamer. How are you gonna throw that at me? You know, I'll take the patch plaything though. That's something I can actually play. And if I reanimate this, it's it's so strong reanimated. Uh, we might take our second reanimation spell here. Still don't have like super great targets for it, but it is the best card in the pack outside the mana fixer for us. It's it's between these two, honestly. Splash blue. I'm not splashing blue, no. I know it's a good card, we're not doing it. Flash blue for the crab all the games. I wasn't even looking at the crab. I was looking at the gremlin tamer. You think the crab is that good though, huh? I haven't really got to play with crabs yet. They haven't seemed uh, that great when they're played against me. We could have done the blue splash. <laughs> I almost want to take the twins over murder number three here. If I almost, I mean I do, and I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they definitely are coughing quite a bit. And it's unfortunate that they've been feeling sick the last few days, but it is getting better. And do we take another vengeance here or do I spec on actually reanimating something? So far, we don't have really great targets for reanimation. What are you giving me a blue card for? That was so off, Arita. So off. Yeah, none of these cards are really going to start to matter for us. Yeah, we might play the Cracked Skull. Even Arena thinks I should splash blue. Well, unfortunately, Arena is wrong. And they're gonna give me like the blue overlord or something. Ah, reluctant role model. That's okay if I can tap it and get it going. And he has lifelink to go with the tenacity. Then we can move the lifelink over to something else, like the sawblade skin ripper, and then at the end of the turn when it pings, hey, there's the Murph. That's what we've been waiting for. 
Uh, stick twister is pretty good here too. Which one is this? Convoke and untap everything? No, we take a second Midnight Mayhem here. Yeah, no word run would be awesome too. But Midnight Mayhem, that's mine. Again, I don't really have anything that I want to put directly into my graveyard. Which is unfortunate. Alright, yep, Sporogenic is good. And the Neglected Banner might be more important for us at this point though, huh? That's tough. I... No, I'm going to take the land. Ooh, another Mirth. Just go, go and brush your teeth. All right. <laughs> hey, another mana fixing land. That's great, although the egotist is really what I want for my deck, actually. I want another sacrifice outlet. That's rough. I hate that I just passed that land. started off decent it's kind of gone off the rails here in pack two and three but I think we can make a serviceable deck out of this Some death touch, so like those are the two targets. That's funny. I don't think we're gonna keep let's play. No, I want let's play a game actually, just for the drain on it. Just for the drain on it. All right, scavenger. We got a couple of decent enchantments, right? Nine enchantments. The scavenger can stay. At least unless I start cutting them. Probably don't need the goat then. We're not going to be discarding a whole lot to reanimate. Don't want the cracked skulls then. We don't want Fear of the Dark of the Shepherds either. That'll make me cut both the moths. I 
mean, it might do it. It's, it's aggressive enough. It can get there. I only really like the Ride of the Moths for the patch play thing, which is kind of unfortunate for our deck. But we can go Tenacity. We've got Life Gain here. We've got Life Gain here. We've got Life Gain here. And here. So there's enough little life gain pings, I think, that we can get away with this. Let's try it. A little bit of some weird Mardu sacrifice aggro. I don't think I got the best of any of the decks really for this, but... It is something that we can play. Let's see what we get. Oop, they got a mountain first. This is gonna be bad. then. No, that's what I'm trying to do. We don't want to do that. Not right now. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Can you stop with the life game. Wow. 
just the lands. I mean, I guess we were able to draw out of it, but that's, that's never fun. What's funny is you think I won't, and I absolutely will. Almost just made me misclick. That would have been terrible. Well, here come the lands. What? Well, I can't block your menace creature. Oh, that's fine. Come on. the fear instead of the menace. <laughs> I love these games where I draw nothing but lands at the end. How? How many lands was that? That was so many lands. We threw like three, four into the graveyard. That's like all but four lands. <laughs> that was that was tough. We had a good chance until we just started drawing nothing but lands with every draw effect. Oh, you want to manifest stuff? How about a couple of lands? <laughs> cool, I guess. Get it out of the way. That was that was unfair. All right. Oh, we need red again. But reluctant role model, fear of surveillance should get us there. We might start with fear of surveillance first before the role model, just to try to bait out removal. Yeah, rubber band mechanics hitting hard today. No kidding. They're like, you didn't make Mythic before the end of the season in three days. Don't don't worry about it. We're just going to take the rest of your gems, and you're going to be happy. Come on, opponent. What do you got going on? Did we disconnect? Nope, we didn't. Okay, tough decision. Tough decision. Got it. Ooh. Alright, now we're gonna go reluctant role model, because if we can draw planes and go optimistic into fear of surveillance, that'd be cool. Don't. They had us seized from Sumbler. That's funny. Oh man, that's funny. 
so fear surveillance still would have been the better play there. Hey, that's red mana. Yeah, yeah, I, I see, I see it. I'd like to like mirth, final vengeance, the mirth. Excuse me? Wow, that really isn't going to pay off for you, is it? play. I hope whatever you manifested is, is an actual creature that you can flip up because bouncing my 2-2 two -two enchantment to make a 2-2 two -two, I don't know that that was the play. I'm okay with that. Oh, it had to be red, didn't it? Oh, I guess I shouldn't have played that. I should have just played the Disturbing Mirth first. Next turn we can Final Vengeance and Midnight Mayhem. Creature, Enchantment, Sorcery, Enchantment. Yeah, we, we were going to be one short of Delirium for Let's Play a Game, but that should be fine. I'm tired of seeing this blue white enchantment deck though.
elevator. the best play. Ooh, and we killed an unwilling vessel. Excellent. think that's going to do it opponent like I'm one damage short of lethal on board what are you what are you digging for I don't think unlocking your promising stairs was the play here I kill you! Yeah, there we go. Man, we're getting the damage going. We won a game. I kind of want to see tenacity into like double mayhem though. It just feels like it's going to be so much damage. It's got a one, two, three. Come on. Yeah, that was good. Not great, but it was good. I 
we might just attack in the box here and pass. We don't need to get crazy about it. What a good cards I got. Hey, Arena, why flood? <laughs> Look at all these cards I got. Well, I, I did ask for this. I literally asked for this. Okay. Falling, that's so good. Lock it, you know you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Before your vessel gets any more out of hand. All right, well, we're, we're hitting the arena flood. That is 10 of our 17 lands. This is so close. I have five attackers. You have four blockers. <laughs> yeah, 
that tenacity into Midnight Mayhem was hilarious. That was great. <laughs> All the life gain. Interesting. Trying to think of what they could have. Well, that was pretty good. This doesn't look like a good game. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> that was gonna kill that. Leave my stuff alone. I need something to sacrifice. Yeah. This isn't good. draw cards with it but no I misclicked holy crap holy crap I wanted that little gremlin I can give him lifelink Nothing. That is a huge dog. Alright, friend, you and I, we top deck. You get a land. I get a land too. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna pass actually. I don't want to just draw and discard. We would, we would. I mean, I play it, it is the best thing I have.
I think we win, right? Well, you hit me for three. You're not playing anything else. Murder. like this opponent, I know. Oh shit, it has haste. I would like to stop drawing lands. Where's that other Midnight Mayhem at? It shouldn't be so good, but it is. Only two lands left in the deck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, we get there, we get there. Um, I mean, a single black mana would have been really cool for this hand. Just, just one. No, we can't even get one. Thank you. Two ways to trade. Then both put an enchantment creature, so we'll be at three on Delirium. That's pretty good. That means the other one of these puts us to four. Interesting. That's a pretty good turn, opponent. Pretty good turn. Boo. We only get to do one thing, though. Well. It is a two for one. I, I kind of have to do it. get rid of the hand. <laughs> I 
I need another swamp arena. <laughs> you need another plates? No, I said I need another swamp. really annoying actually You kidding me? That's it. I just needed a swamp and we would have won. So close. Hey. Oh, it cost two. Okay. I was like, I should have been able to sacrifice. What was that? It is the double swamp that is going to kill me this game. That's funny. Arena. What is face down that you want to save over that? Yeah, that was what wild. Wild. Can I draw a swamp arena? A singular swamp.
boo. I'm just gonna tap down my blocker. This thing needs like flash or lifelink or something else to go with it. Just this doing the drain gain and being on a body is not enough. It is not enough. Man, we were so close. Yep. That's why I played the other blocker. That's why I played it. Yeah, but now they've got four cards in hand to my one. Like, I just gave them too many turns off trying to draw into a double swamp. You know, all the cards that are playing now are two for ones because they get to do two things. Like, it, it's just. It's too little, too late. Like, right now, my only chance of winning is top decking the other Midnight Mayhem. And they only have one blocker. Come on, Midnight Mayhem. That's it, we lose. You didn't even have to do that, you just need to do attack opponent. Stop making game actions. You just, just click the attack button, you won. Alright, well we're 3 and 2 with the deck. Which is better than the last draft we did, so we've got that going for us. It's so close. And this time I got double swamp, so I don't have to worry about that. Can we get a planes? If we get a planes, we can start playing this game like really good. Yeah, I, I needed one more mana fixer. Either that or I need to adjust my mana so that I'm getting swamps more often because red and white are splashes. Well now. Yeah, it's not really where we wanted to be with this, but this is okay.
Do you want to trade? I asked my opponent if they wanted to trade and they said there was no way. Where's tenacity at? I've got a whole bunch of life gain in my hand. Under the skin, okay. And what are you getting back? A land? A <laughs> terramorphic to be exact, that's funny. Alright, thumb the deck. If I mirth, what am I getting rid of? I like that. I like that actually. That was that was good. And then next turn there's potential to mirth into midmight mayhem. That's fine. Are you attacking with it? No, because you're scared. <laughs> uh. All right, well, we got there. Mardu nonsense. Just a little bit of aggro, a little bit of sacrifice. Really, I think it's because I got all this life gain in it, you know? stacks up. Um, 
Um, man. Honestly, I think that's worth killing. Yeah, definitely worth killing. Um, so here we can Gremlin. And a Lost Teeth. I gotta get rid of the mountain because I still want double swamp. I'm supposed to kill the creature or the enchantment. I think I'm gonna kill the. Oh no, I can only kill the creature. What's the one that can kill the enchantment? I know there's one that can do that in black right now. It's not really where I want to be right now. There we go. That's a little better. Yep. Oh, the growing dread. Uh. Oh, it's when it's turned face up. I can see, I see. No, don't shuffle it away. Uh, I knew I should have sac sacrificed it. That's all right. We went four and three. This deck went positive. That'll, that'll put us back where we were before this one, which is, is in an okay spot. Another one? Well, I'm glad you got all the stuff for your deck. I didn't. <laughs> I had to mix and match. Yeah, threats, man. And a bookworm. 
Yep, you got to play the right deck for sure. If they can flip one of those up, it's game over. Six, seven, eight. They just need a plus one on something and they win. The only spell I have I can't cast. Alright, I gained three life. Never mind. They need four more damage. Still. haven't moved, but we did it. <laughs> Alright, one more. Last draft of the day. draft of the day. find me a new table I might take a quick break here yeah, all right we're gonna cancel we're gonna do just a quick break I will be right back
All right, we're back. Let's get into a table and into a draft. Table. Do we get enough ready? Yeah, just barely, but we did. All right. Uh, that's flytrap number four, so we're going to start with the flytrap. It's not a bad pack one, pick one. The delirium one plus one counters, and if you can get the six or more delirium, you get the, the double counters. Seems good. Um, say its name, really good for delirium. The wickerfold thresher, also a really good delirium payoff, so... We pick one of those and stay green. We don't really have to go the black or the red route just yet, but those are probably where we're going to be leaning. All right, here I'm just likely to pick up the Scorching Dragonfire. My untapped GG is not working. Well, that's unfortunate. I, I don't know how to fix that. Is, are you talking the uh, the untapped Twitch app or my profile on untapped? Uh, we're going to take another Thresher here. That's so good. Say its name, I think, is the pick here. Uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. I will I'll have to look into that after the draft. I mean, there's somewhat of a payoff with our reds already. I might just take... No, I'll take the black splash. We'll see. We, we won't mind going full jund. Uh, black and red re removal. Man, there, there's there been... Uh, the Right of the Moth. There's the Shroud Stomper. There's, there's definitely... Somebody's going to be going into that deck. And that's not us. I think we're taking... Uh, no, we want the Slayer here. Ticket Booth could be fun, too. Uh, Ticket Booth actually pushes towards Delirium because it throws stuff in the graveyard. Gives us this double strike on the long run. Maybe I'll take the Ticket Booth over the Slayer. It's, it's a weird choice, but I don't I don't mind it. If we are going black, we can take this as removal. Honestly, the first branch snapper here is probably okay. Um, yeah, we'll take the delirium removal, that's fine. I'll grab the prize, we'll help with delirium. got a couple of enchantments, but I want enchantment creatures. Um, we're not 
playing any of this. Okay then. Uh, probably just the gremlin. The liver die could be. No, I don't want to take the liver die. I like a re one removal effect slash reanimation effect. We can do that on a black splash. I don't hate it. I mean, we probably should take the, the fixing land here. The other okay choice would be the long neck just because it, it fits delirium stuff, but I, I'm gonna take the, the fixing land. And we're gonna take the beat down. Uh, I think we'll take the moldering gym here. I'm not really wanting to do the survivor stuff. I don't want to be taking all the black. I do want to stay base green. Let's play a game with a pretty good delirium payoff. I don't really see anything else that I feel like we need to have. The diversion specialists. That's that's a beater and it puts things into the yard after we've used them, so that, that should be okay. Hand that feeds murder, vengeful possession. I think all of those are reasonable choices, but we need the two drop creatures. I'm trying to avoid moving into red black. I want to stay base red green. Burrow is a good pickup. I like that. Uh, honestly, I'm going to take the attack in the box. It's an artifact creature, and it can sacrifice itself after being aggressive. Like, yeah, this, this will be good. Maybe the intervention. No, I should go key to the house. Mana fixes is an artifact for delirium. That sounds way better. That sounds way better. I had double Nashi. Fortunately, there's not really anything we want 
I'm going to probably Terramorphic or Attack in the box. I think I'm going to take the first Terramorphic. We already have one Attack in the box. I don't want multiples. It is kind of a filler card. Uh, guess we'll take the two drop mana fixer. I almost just want to take the land here though. Yeah, I'll take Altanak. I like him as a beater. He's a good top end. Uh, probably take the Withering Torment. Uh, I don't know. I turn inside out might be okay. I think I'm going to take an inside out over the Torment. We'll see if I regret that later. Will 2, return 2. Just a green black land. We'll take the mana fixing. And another right of the moth. That would have been so good. We'll just take the manifest dread here. I didn't really get any enchantment creatures. We got some enchantments. Not two say its name. Not quite the three. Man, two Doomsday Excruciators. Whoever was drafting Reanimator, if they were drafting it, got hooked up. I should not have been forcing Delirium. Just go for a hate pick. I, I'm not going to play with anybody else in the pod. Why would I do that? I'm not casting it. They can have it. I'm just saying. I feel like I should have been Black White Reanimator this draft. There was some really good things going around for that. Yeah, why would I want to try to make it to where somebody else doesn't get that? It's not a big deal. I wasn't drafting that deck. I shouldn't be taking those cards. Not on Arena. Maybe in real life. Maybe I notice it and I decide to cut it in real life. I can see that, but not on Arena. There's no reason to. Our mana fixing is so good. I think I do want Manifest Dread in here. I'll take the Rip Chain. Razor Ken out. Oh, 
honestly, I think I cut a swamp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this with 16 lands. With all the fixing and the searching and the milling for stuff, I think we'll be okay. Deck looks silly. Uh, I don't think Specialist lets me sacrifice lands. It's another creature or an enchantment, but it'll be a good use. Like if I take it booth and need an enchantment in the graveyard for Delirium, it helps exile and play stuff. So it's it's decent and it's a four three menace. But it does not get lands. The one that gets lands is the Rip Chain Razorkin. Sacrifice a land, draw a card. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a pause here real quick. I'm gonna see if I can't. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, if I can't get this extension work in the untapped, it says I'm all set. I don't know what to do about the uh, the Twitch extension for the companion app. It says it's working on my end. I, I deactivated it and reactivated it to try to get it going, but outside of that, I don't know what to do. Yeah, Sag indeed. It's just supposed to be a fun thing for my viewers there. Be able to look at my duck list, see what I'm up to, look at the stats. He's already paid off. Oh, interesting.
sorcery. That's delirium. Mirth and a mirth. It's pretty good. You don't have delirium yet, though. That's interesting. I might actually do it. Cycle this. Uh, what? No swamps. Uh oh. That was bad. That's what I get. I cut a swamp, didn't I? <laughs> Fail a big time, absolutely. It happens sometimes. Ah, I see, Sprinter, okay. <laughs> well, that's what I get. I cut a swamp. I regret it. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're gonna do the thing. That's cool. Don't even give me the choice. And then you get to do the sprinter, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm so scared. Uh... Huzzah! Good game. We got there, even with my flub. <laughs> Turns out Delirium Flytrap is a good card. <laughs> I almost felt like I should go put a swamp in after that, you know? But then I'd be running 41 cards. I don't think I can cut anything for the lands at this point. Opponent goes first. I mean, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. <laughs> you know, my favorite thing to say. Yeah, Flytrap is not a trap. It is it is a good card to try to build your deck around.
All right, that's the one swamp, so we can't swamp cycle this. I learned my lesson. My other black sources are not swamps. Got double red already. We can't get double black. I guess we get double green. Oh, we've got the perfect answer for that. That's unfortunate, opponent. It's exiled. Go away. And we have Delirium next turn. That's fine. Mine is better. I guess I should have played Zealot. I would have been able to <laughs> to cast the Snatcher. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's fine. I mean, I had fun, yes. <laughs> Could this potentially be my deck that just pushes me through Platinum 1 into Diamond and finally out of this? A weird draft hellscape that is platinum. Oh, that was a quick one. I hope for more games like that. Just, just get a good beater out, activate delirium, and swing. I mean, when you're paired up against a mythic player, we'll see what happens. This is not good. Even with them going first, I think I got a mulligan back. That is even worse. That is even somehow worse. And yet, we're gonna play it. I probably should have gotten rid of the turn inside out, honestly, huh? Uh, yeah, uh, I should have. Yes. All right. Play you. Pass. No, I want to get into diamond. I want to get out of platinum into diamond. I've been hovering in plat two, plat one for like two weeks now. Just playing even. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm swamp cycling. That's it's a hundred percent. We'll play the swamp. A little moldering. I don't have a second swamp for the liver die though, because I cut one. So we still have that problem to figure out. Midnight Mayhem, alright, that, that sucks a lot. Uh, yep, Flush Brewer. Out of this yet? Um, all right. Well, now we're out of it just a little bit more.
six, seven, eight. I don't want to, but I kind of have to. Uh, good game. <laughs> good game, opponent. <laughs> It would have been a completely different game had I had my fly trap, all right? <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to tell myself. Manifest Dread and grab the prize. So we've got stuff to do. Potentially get the Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah. So Zealot, that's fine. now for the one swamp I don't want to grab the prize I want to flip my guy up Was a lot of work for her surveil. Not how I wanted to two for one you, but I'll do it. Oh, scorching dragon fired out the enduring courage. Hmm. That does issue a problem. you an enchantment now. No blocks, huh? Big hit. Let me get a manifest. Boo! We wanted both of those. Let 
No, no. I want to be in my graveyard. I already have a land. Instant, instant, artifact, sorcery. So it doesn't really matter. We have delirium, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Mayhem. Well, that's a good card with that enchantment for sure. If they play another one of those, though, we're so done. Just courage into mayhem, mayhem. That's actually more damage and life gain than the tenacity mayhem. That's bullshit. Alright. No, you want to attack with that. You're right. This is the one that they targeted to attack twice with, right? Buffer win, please. Arena, be nice. Don't throw me back into plat two. We just got here again.
I'm gonna get my second swamp. Is that Winter's Intervention? Yeah. Alright, well... I can also go get my second swamp. Right, my bad. My bad. I, I didn't realize that's what you wanted. Here, here are some cards. This really is just a free win, huh? Oh no. I guess I, I just flubbed, huh? They, they had one blocker to block my 5-5, five five and I could have just killed their blocker and attacked in for lethal. Hey, I got my buffer, so even if we lose our next one, we'll still be plot one. That'll be nice. If we don't get it today, we come back tomorrow. Plat one. Oh 
just get that one of Swamp. I think I'm gonna get rid of the say it's name. So it's land sorcery sorcery. Get something other than a sorcery or a land in the bin. Come on. This will be an artifact if they decide to kill it again. This time, excellent. Two say its name in their deck. Oh, hello! How goes things? Been a while. Yeah, just just play it out. That's that's great. Do you want a two for one? No? Okay. We just woke up. Was... <laughs> yeah, you guys do stay up all night for the most part, don't you? So sleeping all morning seems about right. Also have to say its name. That is not at all anything that I want to get back. Thanks, I guess. No. I probably should have gotten Terramorphic and done the uh, the deck thinning, but I don't know. I don't have a I don't have a good answer. I knew I couldn't get the swamp. I already had the option between a mountain and a forest from the graveyard, so I just grabbed the mountain that I would have got out of the deck from the graveyard. No need to shuffle it up and get crazy.
sure. Yeah, I couldn't keep live or die up. Um, See what's going on. And they they got two cards in hand, two rooms to activate. I'm in top deck mode, but I got double thresher activation, so I could potentially draw three cards next turn. Fine, I'm willing to trade with one of those. Yeah, all right, cool. We go for it. Hey, stop with the stops. This is a, another win, unless they got something super crazy to kill me with. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing positive. I'm getting through platinum. Honestly, now that Rota set's here and we're doing good, I might actually play another one. Yeah, I could have gotten hit by the, the showcase card, damnation, for sure. It, it is in the draft. You're right. They could have had a board wipe. Honestly, they were more likely to waltz of rage, but they needed to actually have something big to do that with first. which is why I didn't play around it and just kind of went for it. Like, yeah, the, the only board wipes you really can pay attention for are the, what is it, Roller Crusher Ride, Waltz of Rage, the Split Up, you know, like, the, you're not gonna play around Damnation. That's pretty good. Swamp or another red would be really nice. Uh, okay. That's that's wild. Watch him have the, the, the thing that gives it lifelink and ward and exiles my creature. <laughs> I 
I can't do it this turn. I have to live or die it next turn. Are you kidding me? If we would have drawn a red, we could have gone turn inside out and done the, the beat down. Wow. Okay. Well, we got to leave up the blocker, and if they go to remove it, we can try to turn inside out to still manifest and have a blocker but I have to live or die this scavenger. Hey, there's Terramorphic. Actually, I probably should have put Terramorphic in the bin and done the Altanac thing. One, two, three, four, five. Can Altanac? Oh, this is so greedy. Oh, this is so greedy. the removal for it up the whole time. I think that's it. We lose. It's alright. How much is the what word cost? For Altanac? He doesn't have a word cost. They just draw a card. There's, there's no ward cost. Oh, yeah, yeah, the the, uh, the enchantment. Uh, the, 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 this one, the Shard Mage of Rescue, gives it Hexproof until on the turn. But unblockable, 12-12. There's, there's nothing we can do there. They win. Like I said, my play was super greedy. I stand by what I did. Yeah, we, we can afford to lose one more time. That's fine. All right, one more. One more for good measure. We're, we're mid-platinum one. I would really like the end today in diamond. We can draft a good enough deck for that, right? Like, optimistic right off the bat. It's the best card in the pack by not even a close call.
An Irving Grasp, maybe. But we're going to, yeah, Scavenger. We're just going to do the blue-white shit. We're going to get a Gremlin Tamer right now. Gremlin Tamer. <laughs> Boros Aggro. Yeah, Boros Aggro has treated me really well. So I wouldn't mind doing a Boros Aggro thing. Uh, no, we're not doing that. We can definitely take the Orphan. Uh, no, Glassworks. We're not taking Orphan over Glassworks. We're taking Glassworks. Glassworks the best card here. Yep. Uh, followed by Scorch and Dragonfire. Grand Entryway would be really good for us too. But if we're taking commons, I'm going to take the Scorching Dragonfire. Um, here, the goat is just something to do on turn one. The Skin Ripper, I can actually see us pushing damage through. The, the Orphans is an okay card. They they they're not as uh, kill immediately as I first thought they were when the set came out, but I, I definitely do kill the orphans. Like they they take priority a lot of times. They can get out of hand if you let them turn sideways. The Soul Rager does okay as a 3-3 if we do the room stuff. Honestly, I might just take the Centipede here. If we're aggro, do we want Pyroclasm? I don't think we do. What are we gonna do? Now well, we can take a ghost for the Boro stack. That's not that's not a bad pick. Yeah. I would get scavenger pack one pick one though, and then not be able to build a scavenger deck. We want none of this. None of this at all. That's a little better. <laughs> I don't like kids. But I don't have to kill them. Yeah, well, some of us do. Somebody's got to do it. I'm just going to take the rare here. This set's complete. We don't have to get any more of those. Not that I'm going to play it ever. Alright, well. I do not like our first pack so far. It looks more Jund than Boros. But I got hope. Oh, let's, get, let's get some good uh, enchantment stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We just tried to play Jund, and it, it did just okay. I mean, it was a positive play. It, it ended up being 4-3 or whatever, which was nice. But All right, Razorkin Needlehead. I almost like the, the entryway more than I like the needlehead though. And percussionist. Alright. 
and sheltered by ghosts so that's a good pickup we like that 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 is just better than glassworks it would have been really cool to get the hall creeper too but sheltered by ghosts that that is playable we'll get uh the most valuable slayer here we get the entryway okay It still look a little bit like like a Moro stack. Skin Ripper is still splashable, honestly. little gremlin boy see like this board wipe here you know destroy all creatures with power three or greater uh, it's same cost as damnation at four you, you don't really get to play around to this too much you know like oh they're in white like there's this and split up you don't play around the board wipe you just you can't in limited Especially in a best of one format like this if we were playing best of three and they got us game one with the board wipe then yeah We can play around the board wipe after but And this best of one best of one ooh patch plaything That was the second misty saloon to go by though Um I don't want the cheerleader here. I think I'd rather have the ticket booth, honestly. Holy crap, that is the third one or did that wheel? That wheeled. Wow, nobody's playing rooms. All right, well. Good for us, I guess. It's removal. A jump scare, I'll take that too. That's okay. Ooh, Dollmaker Shop. That's huge. Double growing dread. That's that's somebody's gonna be happy about that. I mean they're gonna be upset because they're in the same pack. There's no way that makes it around. We're probably hoping to get what turn inside out. Yeah, alright, well, taking the dollmaker shop. Hell yeah, Dollmaker Shop is huge. Fear of being hunted, can't pass that two packs in a row. Yeah, fear will never wheel, there's no way. And so I'm gonna get the second one. Just being like an enchantment for the scavengers. So if scavengers out, we can pump the fear immediately, even before the most valuable slayer thing happens. All right, do we want to try to really splash, or do we just go with the ethereal armor? Like, I, I, no, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna get crazy with it. We're just gonna keep it low to the ground. We want to get a land if we can. We're, we're, we're in the dollmaker shop category here. This is, this is okay. Another plaything, a hover ship, ah, and a horde collar. Can I just take these three? I mean, I gotta take the rare here as much as I would like to take another patched plaything. I'm gonna take the rare. This this hover ship is just so good. 
I probably should take Terramorphic Expanse here, huh? We're not gonna play another grab the prize. We might not even play our first. You think the Horde Caller is gonna wheel? I don't know. Oh, there's the slash land if I really want to try. I might just take the goat, keep it simple. Um, here I think it's the twins. Uh, where are we at on enchantments? Seven? Actually, let's let's take the, the ticket booth. Let's get another enchantment in there. Uh, the Escort has been an annoying card to play around. We'll take an inside out. Yeah, we're going to be low enough. We can start cutting some of these higher end things that we're not going to play. Soul Gorger, or Soul Rager, two of them might be okay. We have a couple of rooms that we can max out. Um, the Healer, or the Hand that feeds. I think I'm going to take the Healer. We've got enough enchantments. Activating it for some life gain from time to time is not, not bad. Yeah. We didn't get the dual land, but I don't think we want to splash for the saw blade at this point. Because I've only got terra terramorphic and I have to put two swamps in. Yeah, let's not do that. So percussionist, goat, scavenger. No, give me my scavenger back. Why did you click that out? Those are good. Ethereal armor is good. I don't know that I want jump scare at that point. I got turn inside out. That replaces itself. It's better. Orphans, sheltered. Grab the prize. Not really what I want to be doing on turn two in this deck. Everything else is fine. Healer's gonna be great. Escort might. Hover ship. We got two soul gorgers with what? Two, three, four, five potential rooms. We only need two? Yeah, that, those those will keep then. Slumbers, good removal and cheap. We don't need friendly ghost, yeah, no, we won't need the escort. Honestly, I'll probably just cut Terramorphic and the land and run eight meat. Yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Boros. We couldn't have a turn one play. Uh, we still might. Where's my goat? Do it. <laughs> All 
don't need that bullshit just yet. Can you reanimate it this turn? No, you got a rat. Okay. Another goat. Oh, we know abs and reanimator. I gave you the out there, my friend. You don't want to trade the rat, really? I would have manifested. I would have put the rat right in front of that. No! <laughs> God damn it. Really? Can we stop drawing lands, Arena, please? I just need something to do. So that was... I should not have two for one myself that way, but I need to manifest. I need something. These lands are not helping. Alright, yep. There's there's a uh, Valgavoth and Altanak. We know that combo. We play that. We're fans. Do we even have anything to kill him anymore? Oh, I can hover shift Valgavoth. Or Altanak. Valgavoth, that's not Valgavoth. Oh, we can shelter by ghosts. So I've got two answers left in the deck. Percussionist. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> It's been rough games today. Boo. Alright, well. Should have just quit while I was ahead. <laughs> Did the three today, left off in Platinum 1, and come back tomorrow. Happy, refreshed, ready to go. I go first. We have Orphans of the Wheat. 
and no red mana. I'm gonna get rid of you, Soul Ranger. Sorry, not sorry. That would have been really cool to manifest. Oh, you just want to do that for your turn? Okay. I attack for six. Honestly, I think I double spell here. Hand that feeds, Clockwork Percussionist. We do the swing out, and we'll tap the extra. Which one to block? Which one's gonna be worse in the long run? Yep, I, I understand that conundrum. That sucks a lot. Um, I think we play the patched play thing. Yeah, we'll do the two, we'll pump up the orphans by two, make it a 4-3. They take the trade. They don't want to deal with the menace creature, okay? Turn inside out on the patched play thing is gonna be nuts. That's a lot of damage. say yeah you want to get that back you don't want to lose that that's game That's unfortunate for the opponent. Alright, one and one. <laughs> Draw a land though. Yay, you get an eyeball. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. You get your surveil. Oh man, are we playing another reanimator deck? Uh, that's, 
that's gonna be annoying. Hey. That's not great. <laughs> it's like the algorithm has figured out the aggro versus reanimator is a good matchup. I really, really need you to stop doing that. I think I also need to be really, really greedy about my play, though. Alright, so what are we sheltering... With the ghosts. Is it the fear of infinity or is it the enduring tenacity? No. Alright, I answered my own question. Tenacity goes. Four two double strike, life link ward. Oh come on, give me a white mana. Get this stupid fear of infinity off the board. We're still in this. Patched plaything. <laughs> Just doing work. <laughs> Did we do it? Sure did. <clears throat> All right, Boros. Color me impressed. <laughs> I lose four life, and then I gain four life, and then I lose four life, and then I gain four life. Yep, that's that's me playing all kinds of decks lately, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I didn't get a full aggro build, so I got to kind of build more mid-range with this, you know. Having the 4-2 double strike lifelink was pretty good. They just didn't let it connect with them. Or the Witherbone Precon Commander. <laughs> This thing's so annoying.
play thing. Play thing. Damn it. No? Oh yeah, no. Ethereal armor going was terrible. But what am I gonna do? Um, so now we can... Glassworks. Get you out of the way. And then we can even this game up. And it's like we're in it again. And then we got another 4-4 four, four for 3 to play next turn and leave up used for slumber if necessary. We might just even activate the tunnel of hate and start swinging with a 4-4 four, four double strike. Make your own fury. See, and then this fun is we can swing with the 2-2 two, two flying double strike for four a turn as well if they do too many ground blockers. I also have the ability to just start pinging them for one a turn and activate the shattered yard. Dude, if you were gonna flip that up, you were you would have done it already, right? This 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 was a bad play for you. Ah, right, there goes your tie bar. with that trade absolutely this is one of the best cards in the format and I just killed it for two mana <laughs> uh, that that's gotta hurt I guess I should have double striked the 4 4 and swung. Maybe they would have had to have chump blocked at least.
All right, Boros. I have faith in you. Get me there. Good game, opponent. Two more wins, Boros. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, the instant matchup. That's not good. Yeah. Instant matchups are never good. Turn inside out, unfortunately. This is the only time I do want to be drawing lands, Arena. Come on. I wish this thing had Menace all the time, not just when I have Delirium, but I get it. Well, that wasn't good either. <laughs> All right, that sucks a little bit. Sucks a little bit. Um, weirdly enough, I think it's the attack in the box here.
you have removal, you deserve this. And I just, you got to play cards and I got mana screwed, so. Look at you go. The attack in the box just walls me. And then they get to go unblockable pump pump. Yeah, they win. I see it. You see it. I see that you see it. You're winning too much. Here, here's the deck that's gonna beat you. Instant pair. Like, yeah, okay. Come on, Boros. We can do one more. You know what? It's got a curve. We're gonna keep it. A gremlin, I got a gremlin. I think I'm gonna play a healer here though. Swing for two menace, then you're gonna sack the gremlin to a Murph. Don't worry about my healer. Take it, Booth. Cool. Mountain <laughs> Glassworks. Oh, that's fine, we kill this. We play a monkey. And discard. Ooh. Yeah, we'll discard that. That's fine. Let's see if we just draw another. Oh, attack with your gremlin, please. Do it. For me. Uh, you're thinking about killing my monkey? I see, I see. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of the gremlin, actually. There's no stick twisters. That is a problem. That is not great. Not even in the slightest. <laughs> we might have a small little problem.
do I really want to cast the armor here? Like, I don't want to, but I kind of have to, huh? All right, well. Seven, seven, first strike, goat. <laughs> I don't even think it's going to take 10 turns. Oh, what a good manifest. No, actually, I'll let you hit me once with that. That's fine. Wow. I see it. You literally need to top deck a land next turn. Oh, and then you can't sacrifice. You can only do the double strike. See what we get. No attacks this turn. Next turn we can swing though. This is really close. That's a good start. That's one. You can sacrifice two things. And you can get in for the six. Menace. That'll be eight. Man, there's this yeah, this is super close. But I think they have to kill me this turn. If they can't, they don't have three blockers next turn. Or if they do make the third blocker, then I'm going to force them to do the blocks. Yeah, cool. They didn't see it. All right. 
Well, let's keep it going. There's a chance we could trophy this. Come on, Arena. You don't have to pick the right one to beat my deck now. Dad pants, baby. All right, well. <laughs> it's, it's a hand that's playable for sure. Honestly, I think I wait one more turn, see what they play with the escort before we just kill it. play. Interesting. All right. So what if we seized cast glassworks? Let's get rid of the flyer. And then we can crew with the ground guy and swing flying and menace. Instant, huh? Yeah, I know. Nobody expects the hover ship. Ouch. You would 
rather trade. Okay. If we get hit with a board wipe here, like, painful. All right, what are you trapping in the screen? <laughs> All right, Boro Sack. You can do it. You don't even need a trophy. You just need one more win. One more win. Push us to diamond and then you can lose. Oh yeah, yeah, no, having, having the room to ping at the end for sure. We, we got a couple of really good, just hard to, to kill things. You know, the menace, the flying. A little bit of removal here and there, it adds up. Dragon's fire here? No, I think I can let you get one. That's a third of our land in three turns. Oh, that dies. That does not get to live. Just gotta keep pushing with the aggro. Come on. What do you got, opponent? Under the skin. Okay. Hopefully, we get an answer for that. is not really what I wanted to see right here. Oh, more. More land. That's not the right color. Okay, 
Okay. Can we get a planes? <laughs> or, or have I dug too deep? Because planes will give me a 5-5 five, five menace double strike. inside out all right well let's see what we can do Saw. Thank you for the manifest. Instant, instant. So we want to put the enchantment into the graveyard. Like right there. <laughs> it's an Altanac, yep. That's it, we did it. We made it to diamond. Rank up. Holy crap. <laughs> diamond tier four. We did it. All right. Final boss. Let's see if we get a trophy. <laughs> We're out of the platinum hell. It's only gonna last for, what, three days? Not even two days, I think, reset. Rank resets here in two days, so. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Smiling threat. This is, this is a perfect way to end the day. No, I want monkey turn one. It's probably more man efficient to go planes, go, and then be able to monkey and scavenger on the next turn, but... <laughs> 
centipede. So, let's see if we go scavenger, crew, glassworks, I'll shoot you, put a counter here, and we can swing for four. Good. Can we get a red mana? A mountain off the top one time? <laughs> no, no, I said a red mana. <laughs> Got something for it. Wow. But I'm only having the two twos, like we can play a fear target itself with the 1-1 one, one counter from the scavenger and get it to to kill a single or a single 2-2 two, two, which would be nice if that's what they leave we'll see oh, there's a wicker crusher Get a new card. It's the mountain I wanted. Uh, I mean, they kind of have to trade, so. I would love for both of us to draw a card. Alright, well, they have Threshold, or Threshold, they have Delirium. <laughs> Threshold's a different mechanic. Oh, 
Just drawing a card. the 3-3 three, three Vigilant. That's kind of gross actually. So Needlehead. If I put armor here. No, we're gonna get blown out. God damn it. We don't even get the option for a life gain there. That was rough. That would have been a crazy fear of being hunted. Just want to roll over here but if they flip this up into the, like a 7-6 trample or anything like it's it's bad 3-2 whatever my 3-2 for your 2-2 or whatever that's 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 fine make a treasure Shelter by Ghost would have been so good. Now we only make a 3-2 lifelink this way. Yes, it has ward, but it's not going to... This isn't winning this the game. take it. I'm, I'm just happy to be in diamonds, you know? Another 6 and 3 with Boros. <laughs> we got there. We made it to diamond today. It's it pretty decent. Hey, that's a sign we're getting towards the end here. Gems. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. I'll be doing the same thing tomorrow, hopefully around noon. Probably till about four or so. It seems to be uh, the pattern for me. Um, yeah, and now that we've made it to Diamond, I guess we just try to push the Mythic. I've got four. Do I just get the sleeves or do I pick up the overlords? I'm going to pick up the overlords. What 
does that put me at for set completion? Hey, we did it. We got all the rares. It's, it's just the last of the mythics now. What is that? 19 mythics missing. And we'll have a full set complete. That's pretty awesome. Alright, well, like I said, noon tomorrow. I appreciate you guys hanging out, especially the new people talking up in chat. Really helps with the numbers there, getting me on the uh, affiliate goal level. Hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow.